I'm on my own. I've got something for you. I've got something for me, actually, not for you, but I'm trying something I've never tried before. Cheers. Mmm. And, um... <clears throat> well, that's lovely. Um, so I'm at the end of my um, <coughs> table here, and I am going to try and do, <coughs> excuse me, some pizza. I've never, ever done pizza before in my life. Now, I'm going to be very honest with you, I've cheated. I was at this fantastic restaurant yesterday, Cacciari's, in um, Portobello Road. Uh, they have others as well, by the way. But, uh, and I was with David, the chef, David. Da. And he has given me some dough. So I am, I've got the first bit done. And then what I'm gonna do is I've got some, um, some different um, ideas here of what I wanna do if I wanted my own pizza, of course. So I've got some, uh, well, I've actually got some really good sausage here that I want to use. I've got some mozzarella, I've got some onions, I've got some parmesan, I've made my own tomato base sauce. I've got some olive oil, I've got some parma ham, I've got some rosemary, and I'm gonna do two pizzas. One a tomato classic with um, mozzarella, and one, one that I used to have either with just onions and garlic and olive oil and salt, and see how it goes, okay? So we obviously don't have, well, obviously, I, I don't have uh, a wood-fired pizza oven. So I've got my oven on my cooker turned up full blast with bottom and top on. And um, I didn't realize, by the way, how complicated it is to make pizza. Well, firstly the dough, and then how you leave it and everything else. Now, I've got two, two here. One is going on here, and one is going on the other one. But I need to just put olive oil on here so it doesn't stick. So, let me just do that and work it with you. So just with my olive oil, I'm just going to brush this piece of this baking tray, or baking paper on my tray. And that is where I'm going to put it. Now, I was told you do not roll pizza. You do not roll pizza. I'll do that one. I'll do this one over here in a minute. Otherwise, you won't see me. You press and press and press, and you gently, gently, gently pull. A bit like the cross, the cross, the cross. So, I'm going to have a go at that. Now, bearing in mind, I have never done this, so it's really interesting, but I'm just going to gently pull it, but you've got to, you've got to just... Um, You've just got to be careful. I like pizza base really thin, so I'm gonna go as far as I can. I'm gonna put it on there in a moment and I'm going to push it around there. Um, David, if you're watching this, there, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, whatever I'm doing, but I'm, look, hey, we're not gonna be spinning it, that's for sure. But um, I'm just gonna keep working this and we'll get it so it's a nice flat base and we'll come back to it. So we're getting there. Here is, we're just, I'm, I'm gonna continue to push a little bit further, but we're getting there. It just takes a little time. Look, I've always said, cooking is never about rushing. So I'm just gonna gently push out there, and then I'm gonna show you what I intend to do with this one, which is my idea, and then I'm gonna come back with a much more traditional one over there. Okay, I think that looks okay. Bearing in mind, I think, I have quite honestly no idea about this. So let's do this. Gently, gently, gently. I think you do have to have, well, on this particular one, I want olive oil. Uh, and there is a reason why I want olive oil. I hope I'm doing the right thing. I hope I'm not gonna end up burning it. Look. I'm having a go at something I've never done before. So, now what I intend to do with this one is I want onion on this one. I want onion, just onion. I want 
salt and I want garlic and I want rosemary. That's what I want for this one. And I'll tell you why, because it takes me way back to somebody that used to do it years ago. Okay, so there are my onions. Yes, it took me back years ago to a place I used to go to. I'm gonna put some rosemary, just some little sprigs of rosemary. It's rosemary, it goes really well. And um, I don't want lots, because I'm not quite sure what it's gonna be like if you just cook it like that, because it might be a bit chewy. But anyway, so that's there. Now, what I do want is some garlic. So I'm gonna sprinkle some garlic over there. Um, whoops, that's a big lump. So just some garlic like that. What do you reckon there? And then, hang on. Now, of course, you must have seasoning. So I want to put some, some plenty of salt on there because the salt will go brilliantly with the onions and the garlic and the olive oil. I've got some chopped parsley and basil and of course some black pepper. Okay, now that is one idea that I want to do. So I'm gonna put it in the oven. I'm gonna, whilst it's in the oven, we're gonna make the other one. Okay, so the first one is in and I'm watching it. Um, there you go, you can see it in there. It looks pretty good at the moment. So there she goes, looks pretty good. Um, so that's all right. Now, this one is going to be a bit more traditional. So what I intend to do with my fantastic tomato sauce that I made, and you can see, I, do you know, I'm not sure whether I should have made it, I should have made it finer, but I thought, well, this is my sauce, my tomato sauce. I made it and it's not like a paste paste. It's like a real tomato sauce. So I thought, well, I'm just gonna do it my way. Okay, there's my tomato base, which is a real tomato sauce. It's quite thick on there, but let's, I'm just gonna sprinkle a few onions on here as well. So I think that would be quite, I quite like red onions as well. So. Improvise the adaptation of the carb. Now, classic sort of pizza now, because we're going to lay the mozzarella on here. What did my other pizza go? Bearing in mind, as I say, I don't have a wood-fired pizza oven, so that would be amazing. But if this all works well, I might well get one. Um, I think that's probably enough. Should I put some of this on here? Maybe I'm going to put that in there, like that. And then that one, like that. And this one here, like that. And maybe one more in the middle. Watching my other one over there. I think it looks okay. Um, and then on this one, some more garlic, of course. And then I thought I'd also just put a bit of parmesan on there. I'm not quite sure what I'm supposed to do with that with mozzarella, but why not? And then just some salt and I might use a bit more of that on there. And then some salt and pepper. Okay, there we go. Okay, so we're about to do a little swap over. So this one is gonna go in and my other one is coming out. This one's going in. Dazzle's has got like all this dead air, so I thought I'd just fill it in. And this is my one here. That's so weird. I quite like him. So look, really perfectly cooked. The idea of this one was a dry one. This was my one. This was a little restaurant called Mamma Mia years ago. 
and it gets used to being Donnie's looking at it. <laughs> Maybe it does need a bit more. <laughs> anyway, don't it's touch like it. It's the saddest thing I've ever seen, <laughs> dry pizza. No, it's not dry, because it's, I like it. Anyway, it's gonna be crispy. We'll, we'll taste it in a second. The other one's in, that looks much more traditional. Give me a little champagne. The universe wanted to be closer to Christmas. The reason I didn't speak then is because we are munching away here. Honestly, it's so, so good. good. Simple, it's all the flavor of that rosemary and that garlic and that olive oil and those onions and that salt, rock salt. Oh God, take me way back, Mamma Mia, 1977, whatever it was. Anyway, we've got Donald's coming. Okay, and here is the other one. Have a look at that. How fantastic is that? Look at my wonderful tomato sauce. It's not dripping anywhere. I thought it might be a bit too thick. Well, this is called a dazzle pizza. I've decided <laughs> I've never made a pizza. I did need some help with the base, of course, with the dough. So David, thank you so much. Wow, I'm so pleased. I'm gonna cut this up and we'll show you what it looks like. So we have devoured the first one. And now this one's my bit here, this crispy bit here. Obviously if you don't have a pizza oven, then um, you just put it in the oven and just turn it around a little bit. Look at that. Wow, really good. David, thank you. Speak to you on Tuesday, by the way. I'm speaking to David, the chef, on Tuesday and uh, I'll give you the, the timings and everything else. But look, my very first attempt at pizza, I'm really happy. Cheers.